Hey guys, Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com with another ROM and a flash review for the Samsung Captivate. Alright, today we have Illuminance 2.1.1. This is a, a ROM from Illuminated 1 and um, it's based on KK2 2.3.5 which is original Captivate source and it runs the uh, Samurai 1.3 kernel uh, to flash it it's pretty simple just flash back to stock using JF6 Odin one click uh, then flash your gingerbread bootloaders followed by Boog kernel then you can go ahead and install the ROM now there's three lock screen I mean I'm uh, sorry three launchers included those are home Sony Ericsson home and TouchWiz launcher shown here is the home We'll go to Sony Ericsson Home now, and we can see that it's the standard Sony Ericsson Home. It's actually a pretty cool uh, launcher, to be totally honest with you. Um, it's got some cool animations and whatnot, and you know when you click things like uh, the application drawer, launcher's still loading up now. Um, you can see more about how it looks as well, and we'll go back home and take a look at the. Um, this time we'll take a look at TouchWiz Launcher. It's a lot lighter, easier to load, and uh, once that comes up, we'll show you guys that. All right, there's the TouchWiz Launcher that most of us are familiar with. We've got our application drawer, which is a horizontal-based scroller, uh, so no vertical action, just horizontal-based scrolling on the TouchWiz Launcher. You have to bear with it as I am recording this on the device itself and uh, it is trying to build the application list so what we're going to do after this is we're just going to select TouchWiz Launcher and keep it as our default I'll probably go ahead and do that right now as a matter of fact uh, this uh, ROM has been hardened against ads with a motivated, uh, modified host file uh, the build.prop has been tweaked for performance there's a huge access point uh, name list which is built off the San Jamon 7 nightly list uh, there's a lot of other things enabled like SIP over data uh, text messages removed from call logs and things like that Gtalk and all the Google Apps have been updated and uh, SQLite 3 has been added to system forward slash bin um, which is also pulled from San Jamon 7 nightly it's got NexusS, Microbes, and HTC Sense live wallpapers and there's a new default wallpaper which is the Illuminance signature wallpaper shown here um, here's a look at the uh, horizontal scrolling on the TouchWiz here. There are nine lock screens in this particular version. Um, we can take a look at our lock screens here, and you'll see all nine Star Wars My UI SGS2 puzzle four tab unlock, which is quite popular. Um, you get the multiple options for phone, and um, you can just regular unlock. Then we can unlock to text messaging. And we can unlock the last one, which would be for uh, sound on or off. So that's a look at our unlock options there. Uh, the ROM is obviously DODEX, step aligned, and rooted. All the ATT bloatware has been removed. And it's got Fuju Tweaks 2.3.5, which was ripped from Cognition uh, version 5, uh, 5 version 2. Um, there's been some ringtones added. Uh, super user APK and all the super user binaries have been updated. It's got the latest swipe. Let's take a look at some of our keyboards here. For keyboards, our options are we got swipe, Android keyboard, and Samsung keyboard. So we have some options there as well as our obvious options under keyboard settings. Um, some of the default applications here. Um, are pretty much everything you would expect. We've got pretty much stock, bone stock. I've added screencast and set CPU obviously to record this and I was seeing if uh, the kernel was overclockable, which it is not. So you can't overclock with a stock kernel. Um, check out the thread. There may be a kernel that they recommend to uh, you know to install for overclocking or undervolting. Let's take a look at the uh, updated super user app. I'm sure you guys have seen it already, but if you haven't seen it, this is what the newer super user app looks like we've got our green icons at the top as well as you can see the, the gingerbread style icons um, so yeah here's a look at this you can actually swipe left and right to see things and it's pretty cool um, you can get super user pro in the market as well if you would like to do that 
Um, I haven't done any testing on the uh, on the benchmarks just yet. Uh, I do know that GTalk also supports the rear camera for video conferencing if you wanted to do something like that. Uh, let's take a look at our about phone settings real quick. We've got aluminum 2.1, KK2, uh, kernel version, baseband is KK2, everything's KK2 basically, and uh, it's firmware 2.3. Point five. It runs very well, very smooth, and of course, it's very, very stock. Um, you know, so stock means stability, in my opinion, uh, when we're talking about something like this. CRT animation is in effect, as we see there. And I don't... It does have uh, extended power menu as well for reboot, recovery, download, and regular power off options. So that is a look at Illuminance 2.1.1 from Illuminated 1. Be sure to donate to your developer. They put a lot of time and effort into the uh, the ROM itself, and those donations mean a lot. You can donate to us as well at mobiletechvideos.com if you would like to do so. Let us install this for you with our Captivate Upgrade service, and also check out our e-store, link in the description below, and you can see a lot more about what we have to offer here at mobiletechvideos.com. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and above all, subscribe here on YouTube for the latest, greatest documentaries, films, reviews, and more. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video, hopefully as a new YouTube subscriber.